Now to the Alex Murdoch trial. The jury this morning visiting the double murder site at the family's estate where the once prominent lawyer claims he discovered his wife and son shot. And now attorneys are presenting closing arguments ahead of a jury deliberation, the six-week trial uncovering lies around Murdoch's original testimony and years of alleged financial crimes. ABC's M. Wynn has more now from Walterboro, South Carolina. A conclusion nearing in the double murder trial gripping the nation of a once powerful lawyer in low country, South Carolina. A jury soon to decide the fate of Alec Murdoch, accused of brutally killing his wife and youngest son on June 7, 2021. Today, the jury traveled to the site of the murders on the family's estate where Murdoch claims he found his wife and son shot dead that night. The visit coming ahead of closing arguments after both sides rested their cases. State rests. The prosecution attempting to poke holes in the defense's case that there might have been two shooters. So what did you find odd about the theory, first of all? I think the theory is preposterous, in my opinion. Murdoch's lawyers arguing he's a family man who loved Paul and Maggie. But the state painting a picture of a desperate, disgraced father who killed the two to obtain sympathy after several investigations opened into the money he's accused of stealing. Murdoch himself taking the stand last week, admitting to embezzling his clients out of millions of dollars to pay for his drug addiction, insisting, though, he never committed the murders. You take this gun or any gun like it and blow your son's brains out on June 7th or any day or any time, no, I did not. The fourth generation prosecutor, at times visibly emotional. But the state taking aim at that, calling his former law partner to show how expressive Murdoch would be presenting cases as a trial attorney. He was uh, a, a theatrical type presence in the courtroom. After closing arguments and instruction from the judge, the jury will then deliberate. The jury is expected to have the case tomorrow. Now, if convicted of murdering his wife and son, Murdoch faces 30 years to life in prison without parole. M. Wynn, ABC News, Walterboro.